Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the fair use, fair dealings guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Well, this is gonna be one of my shorter videos and I'm gonna let you know that I'm having a dental procedure this afternoon. So there may be a day between videos because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk after they're done doing what they're gonna be doing. So uh, let's just jump in with what we have, all right? And uh, go. Okay, let's go. There are stories coming out that Harry and Meghan expect to do the half in, half out job for the royal family that they wanted initially and that the queen said no to once Charles becomes king. I don't believe that story for a second, but the, just the thought of it has thrown people into an absolute tizzy. People have made their thoughts well known they don't want them back. They've shown so much disrespect to the queen, so much disrespect to the Commonwealth. People don't want them back. And the, the royal family has to listen to what the public wants if they want to survive, okay? So while the stories may be coming out, I don't believe for one second that they're real. Do I think they would like to return? Yes, I do think they would like to return there. Their thread, their claim to fame is the same royal family that they have been um, trashing. And I think that it's starting to, the court is being severed, if that makes sense. And they need to strengthen it. So this this is my thought. Anyway, um, a poll was run. You guys know how the uh, newspapers in the UK especially love their polls. And they, they asked people, do you think they should be able to change their minds and come back? Yes, they had almost 11,000 votes. And the answer was 98% no, they may not return. So if the monarchy is to survive, uh, Charles is going to have to cut, cut them off. I mean, he's going to have to stop and think about what the public wants. And while he may still love him because that's his son, the rest of the public wants nothing to do with him. Yep. All right, moving on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the stories are coming out now that the real reason Harry will not return for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee is the simple fact that he cannot face his family after what he did. Now, do I think this is the real reason? Yes, I do. How is he going to stand there in the presence of his father and his grandmother after he told so many lies on national television or international television and they know he's writing a book that's going to say horrible things about them. And he'll have to face them alone. Because while Megan is a major cause of all of these issues and problems, because I think she's the one pulling his strings because the man has no, you know, things attached to him. Um, you know, we saw him juggling them outside the window. Um she's not going to go back. She's going to let him go on his own and throw him to the wolves. And he doesn't have the intestinal fortitude to face his family alone after what he's done. So no, he won't be returning. And I think that's best. Well, this story caught my attention big time. Here it is. It's March and Megan decides to put out a statement about Black History Month. Now, keep in mind, Black History Month is in February. She won a trumped-up fake award from the MAACP. We're all aware of that. And she even participated in Black History Month in the UK and then said she didn't know the UK had a Black History Month. That's how much she cares about Black History Month. So when she won that trumped up award that was given to her by Sunshine Sachs, I guess she realized it didn't look good that she hadn't said anything. So the next month, which is this month, she finally put out a statement. I mean, really, people, you just can't make this up. Now, the one bigger story that I'm going to cover for today is something that was brought to my attention by Megan's Mole. She said that SmartWorks is one of the four patronages that Meghan Markle got when she was a royal family member, and that is correct. Since the Queen pulled the patronages, why is SmartWorks now on the Archwell website? and being used to make money privately for Harry and Meghan, okay? 
Sure enough, there was a statement from Archwell from Twitter that said, now they're talking about Women's History Month. Um, they're going to announce that the foundation is supporting SmartWorks with a grant to help enable research projects okay on female unemployment like that hasn't been done before once again the money is not going actually to the women it's not going for clothing it's not going for help it's going so somebody can research i don't know the how women's unemployment is affecting them in the uk okay and i also have to say that considering that the archerwell foundation only made what what was it fifty thousand dollars last year um and of course 95 percent of that they got to pocket uh i think maybe they got an iou and not actual money just like they did in harlem anyway in researching this uh that is correct that in 2019 kensington palace gave Meghan markle a royal patronage and it was SmartWorks, as well as the Association of Commonwealth Universities. We also got Mayhu, I think it's called, which is the Animal Welfare League. Um, and she also became vice president of the Commonwealth Trust, which was a position that was made up for her because that position did not exist. So I decided to go back and look at the full list of patronages that Megan had that were taken from her, just to be, you know, clear. Now, it clearly says that Megan lost the Royal National Theater and the Associate of Commonwealth Universities, and she gave up that made-up role that they made for her as vice president of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. But it said she got to keep two private patronages. One was the Animal Rescue and one was SmartWorks. I don't know how she can be gifted a patronage from the Queen, and suddenly now it's a private patronage. Now, stories like what you see above are the ones that are coming out now that, in my opinion, circle back to the first story that I showed you where it's being reported that they still want to do the half in, half out life. You know, they're now trying to put a spin on it that Megan is still committed to Britain. She really is. And don't forget, look who wrote the article. Now, in this article, it clearly says that she was given this charity when she was a working royal. But later on in the article, it says that Megan kept two charities that were not bestowed on her by the royals. You know, very confusing. And the article goes on to say that, you know, while they're sitting in their million dollar mansion, they're giving money for a robust study that will help unemployed women. Yeah, I don't see it. So in researching this, all I've been able to find is that she wrote some letters over the last two years to some people who got some clothes from SmartWorks saying congratulations. That's it. That's all she's done to support them in all of these years. I, yeah. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I need to address an elephant in the room. There's been some discussion as to why, or comments, I should say, as to why I've left the emergency department after 27 years. Um, I want you all to know that I was not forced out by Mr. Boozy, okay? When you stand outside the emergency department waiting to go in for your shift, and you're looking up and you're thinking, oh my God, not again. It's time to go. You know what I'm saying? It's time to move on. It's time to try something different. I, my love for my job, when your love for your job is gone, it's time to leave that job, even if it's been 27 years. So he has not forced me out of my job. I'm leaving voluntarily because I'm just tired. You know what I mean? I'm just tired. So I firmly believe what you see in the picture above, the purpose of life is a life of purpose. Um, that, believe it or not, came from a um, picture that I took. That's That placard that you're looking at is on my mantle, and that's the mantra I live by. So I'm going to close this video today. Like I said, this is going to be a shorter video, but I really want your comments. What do you think about the UK not wanting Harry and Meghan to return? What do you think about Megan keeping the SmartWorks patronage and saying she's helping by them running yet another study? What do you think about Megan making a comment about Black History Month after it was over? 
And what do you think about Harry and Meghan still trying to hang on to the royal family? And I feel like SmartWorks is a perfect example. They keep bringing up that it's a royal patronage, and she's still with the royal patronage. What do you guys think about that? You know I want your comments, so make sure you leave them below and make them good. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified of future uploads. If you've already hit the subscribe button, please double check it and make sure that you're still subscribed. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Getter. You can email me. And for those who have donated to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day.